Gautam, uh, tell us something on Right to Breathe about how did Right to Breathe start? Well, Right to Breathe uh, was kind of established as such about three years ago. Okay. It's an informal uh, platform, if I may say, for like-minded individuals who enjoy cycling either as a sport or as a leisure activity or probably as a mode of transport. Okay. It's a platform wherein we exchange ideas, information and uh, try and create awareness about the benefits of cycling. And that's about it. And uh, it's been almost three years and uh, we are happy to say that on Facebook we have about a thousand plus members that wherein uh, seniors to juniors, everybody gets to learn uh, from each other and exchange ideas. Okay. Uh, so, as you said that you have got a lot of members on Facebook who are from outside the city. So, how do you coordinate uh, between them? And as most of our viewers know that you go well, out for as, the rides. Yeah, we, we do go out for rides. There are bikers from the city who travel to other cities or outdoor locations for their rides. Uh, coordination as such happens between people who, you know, want to take their level of interaction beyond a common platform. So it's not really important or necessary for everybody to get along well with each other. So, you know, just probably Manjeet here may want to go out with Sagar for a ride and they could exchange their numbers over the platform or mail to each other or inbox each other and they coordinate a ride amongst themselves. If it is a group ride being planned, then somebody takes the initiative of announcing a group ride on a particular, probably a Sunday morning or a public holiday, where we try and, you know, gather as many more bikers as possible. And we enjoy the rides, whether it's from Victoria to Dakshineshwar or probably to Narendrapur Bird Sanctuary or the Botanical Gardens or the wetlands behind Sector 5. So it's fun while we are trying to get fitter and uh, explore our city. Okay, so um, what is the events that goes on with the like, Is it just uh, biking around the city or going for bike tours or something else? Uh, it's not that. Uh, we have certain members who, who actually take us for rides to some city places. Places of interest in the community. And we, we, we actually, if there is a health benefit and we, we are able to actually see different places in Kolkata. I mean, I was born, but I am a, somebody from Kolkata, but there are a lot of places I haven't seen. But thanks to Manje, he takes us to places, he knows the look and crannies of Kolkata. These are places of interest. These places have remained in Kolkata for many, many years, but we have had no information about discover these places. So it's right, fun, health benefit and sometimes we do go outside Kolkata for long rides. We may go solo like I go solo but there are certain groups I have spoken to say uh, people get together, people like minded people that get together. So go out for rides. Okay. Uh, well, from all people it's coming to Manjit knows the nooks and corners of the city. So, uh, Manjit, how do you think Kolkata being a biking hotspot? Do you think it's actually true or what are the challenges? Uh, not really like a hotspot uh, at all. In fact, it's, uh, it kind of gets real hot for people who wish to bike because most of the major thoroughfares are no cycling zone. So, um, so that's why all the rides are either restricted to very early mornings or public holidays when supposedly the cops will not be hot on us. So, so not really a hotspot. Uh, rather, you know, you get in the hot in case you're biking because, uh, I mean, you, you get fined and stuff like that. So it's, it's not really uh, very pro-biking as, as a city with such a high level of population, population and pollution uh, like city like ours uh, should be. So that's kind of really, uh, it's really ironical that Calcutta, I guess, is the only city. Uh, which Probably has, in the world, if not in Yeah, which is legally has no cycling zone, so it's, it's kind of uh, disturbing. Uh, yeah, like uh, previously when we took up the matter of cycling in Calcutta, uh, most people said that there's no space for having cycling lanes 
in Calcutta and stuff. So uh, do you think that's kind of true? That See, that's true, but again, there, when there is there is a will, there is a way. Um, I, I had this, this chance, uh, option of going to Israel uh, last year, and uh, there a lot of cycling happens on, on the on the footpaths, on the sidewalks, as you know. Uh, they have specially made the sidewalks so that, you know, uh, I mean, where it's like, on, on the curb stores, they, they, they've tapered it down at ground level so that cyclists can actually go on to sidewalks and, and negotiate. So, so, I mean, I'm sure like, 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 like an example like this, I'm sure a lot of other things could be done in a city, taking in construction, the kind of problem that we have. Uh, I'm sure if, if you really want to do a lot, lot could be done. So it's, it's the initiative. The initiative has to be there to take up the money. If somebody is interested in joining right now, all you need to do is probably have a Facebook account because without having one you won't be able to join our page. That's the right for free on Facebook and it's a free for all page. All we would want or rather prefer is at least have a cycle with you wherever you are from. Uh, even if you don't really have a cycle, join in. Get to know about what activities we are into. Probably if you haven't got a cycle as yet, you'll be enticed into getting one for yourself. Okay, uh, so like, uh, is it just the cycle or any okay. other safeguarding measures that you actually uh, Well, all we rather insist on is that you wear a helmet while biking with us. Uh, that's the most basic safety equipment you need to have. And that's what we think, right, say. Okay, so here we had Right to Breathe along with us and, you know, it was a pleasure talking to them and when you join Right to Breathe, you get to know a lot of things about cycling around the city as well as have the gear up so that you can spread the word of cycling and have a unique way of transport that used to be used a long time.